Hi guys, I'm back with another DIY video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make these frosty glitter votives. These are super easy to make and you probably have most of the stuff to make these just laying around the house. So let's just go ahead and jump right into it. The first thing that you're going to need is some type of an empty glass jar. I'm just using an old Bath and Body Works candle jar. Next you're going to need some Mod Podge. Some glitter, I'm going to be using two different shades of glitter just to kind of give it a little bit of a cooler effect. So first of all, I'm going to be using some of this gorgeous gold chunky glitter. And then I am also using some of this pink glitter. But you can use any colors that you like. I just really love the way these two look together. You're gonna need a craft paintbrush. And lastly, some type of a small container to mix everything up in. To get started, I am adding some of my gold glitter into this little container. This gold glitter is so pretty. I love glitter so much. And then I am adding in some of the pink glitter. And now I'm just shaking it all up, mixing it up. And look how pretty that looks. Next I took some of my Mod Podge and I used a popsicle stick and added it in with the glitter. You just want to get enough in there so it's kind of a thick, pasty consistency. You're also probably going to want to set down a piece of newspaper or a magazine when you're doing this, just in case you make a mess like me, sometimes I do. Spill some of this stuff and then you're also gonna want something for this to sit on and dry when you are finished. Okay, now time for the fun part. So all you're going to do is dip your craft paintbrush into your mixture and you are just going to begin applying it onto your empty jar. And I'm just kind of doing it in padding motions, hopefully you can tell by this clip. And if you have any spots where you don't get enough, you can always go back over it or you can wait until it dries and do a second coat. I only ended up doing one coat on mine and I really like the way it came out just because you can kind of see through it and it gives it that frosty look. So you're just going to continue doing this around the whole jar. Just try to make sure you do a nice thin even layer. And this whole project probably took me maybe, I want to say five minutes. It was really quick and easy to make. And after that, you are finished. Now you're just going to set this aside to dry. It probably takes at least two to three hours to dry completely. Once you are finished, you can go ahead and add a tea light candle or a flameless candle if you like. These look gorgeous either way. They look so pretty lit up. They also look pretty when they are not. So here is just what it looks like, a little bit of a close up. If you guys have any questions about anything, just let me know. Like I said, these are super easy to make and most of you probably already have the stuff laying around your house to be able to make them. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will talk to you next time. You are the icing on my cake. You are the smile I can't replace. You are, you are.